Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. We are here at the Tanner Homes Racing Shop, AKA my house in Southern Oregon. We're out front and actually in today's video, we are gonna be giving you guys a tour of our meal that we use for the sprint car, or you could also call it a pit cart. This is something that we got here at the beginning of the 2021 season and we just started using it in Arizona in all of our races since. It's a huge help for our team. It's very, very beneficial. Before we had our pit cart here, we had actually just a quad with some modifications done to it to kind of help with some of the things on the sprint car. Now the quad could hold a couple of fuel jugs in the front and uh, also some shocks, but it couldn't do anywhere near what our pit cart now can. So we're gonna be giving you guys a tour of it in today's video. Let's head on around back and we'll be uh, getting started. So as we get started with our little tour of this thing, one of the most important parts is obviously it has to push the sprint car. So it's got a, a push bumper right here on the front. Some people use quads, some people use this. It's all um, really personal preference as we are going up to staging. Now obviously this is not gonna fire the car. It's only meant for getting up to the racetrack or wherever we need to uh, fire off. As we kind of swing around here, obviously we have the driver's seat, passenger. Uh, I, can, I can tell you guys, and Bennett will agree behind the camera, we have fit three people on this. It's a little tight, uh, but we have managed to make it happen. If we sit down here, um, we obviously have four wheel drive. We also have two wheel drive. We can easily put it into reverse, neutral. Also, we have our uh, parking brake here, which we always make sure to set. Otherwise, we're gonna roll forward or back. And for anyone wondering, I talked about that we had uh, purchased this over the off season between you know 2020 and 2021. We actually got the meal um, from the Red Bluff Motorsports, which is right there close to the Red Bluff Outlaws. So that is where we got it from. And then this box here on the back, which obviously didn't come with it, it's uh, from SeaTech. And this is very, very popular in the sprint car world that, that um, other racers also use. As we get into the box portion of this, we can just get started with the side. There's actually not a whole lot of stuff in here at the moment. So this is uh, for storage. You could use any, you could put a lot of different things in here. If you get a little closer, you can see on these shelves, we kind of have like rubber mats. That helps stuff not slide around. Up top here, usually on race day, we put some shocks. But like I said, you could put a lot of different things in here. And actually that's a key thing to mention in this video. Right now our pit cart is actually not super full. As we get a little bit farther into the season, maybe when we get closer to traveling a little bit, we're obviously gonna have a couple more things in here, but when we're racing close to home, things are a little scattered and it is not as full. And then also, since we haven't had it for a long time, we're still trying to figure out, you know, the best place for everything. There's a couple things here in the very back, actually, where the tools are that we wanna do a little bit different, but this is just how we have it for now. And I wanted to make this video because as we kind of progress and go farther and farther, it's gonna be cool to kind of share some of the changes that we make. So here's kind of the fun part, the back. So this opens up, it just folds down. It's super easy at the racetrack to shut it close. Uh, obviously you're gonna have to do that if you drive away. At Cottage Grove a couple weeks ago, Carly left this open as she started driving on accident and that's just uh, something you definitely don't wanna do. So we have all of our drawers, which we'll get into here in one second below, but we have this top space on the left. We just got some WD-40, some brake clean. We have our blue rags in the back, some extreme pressure grease. Uh, we got a flashlight, all of our impacts. We have some tools here for doing the valves. That's part of our regular maintenance in between races. We also have lights, so that's nice for at nighttime. If you need to grab tools or you need something and it's hard to see, a lot of these places we go, actually, it can be hard to see. Maybe it's not well lit in the pit area. So you have those, that's a great tool. But that's kind of everything up top. We also have a tape measure. We also keep some Sharpies, especially when it comes to the end of the night and fans come, we can easily open this up, grab a Sharpie and start signing autographs. Now starting with uh, the top drawer. This is where we like to keep our trays so we can um, kind of organize many different items. You can see we got some bleeders. We have some caps for uh, the wheels and the valve stems, stagger tapes, nuts, bolts, clamps, Zeus's. A lot of little things that we keep up there. Moving on to the second drawer. We got our uh, tool for the valve stems and for doing our mounting and dismounting tires. We also got some setup blocks here for blocking the car. Funny thing to mention, we have some old school ones that we have uh, from when we first got into sprint car racing from who we purchased all the equipment from. That's kind of a funny thing to mention. We also have our uh, wheel spacers and something you guys might see if you're in the pit area, a lot of people like to keep these on their jack when they're just, you know, rolling around, you know, throughout the night. And the main reason we don't do that is because, you know, 
know, for example, you start stacking all these spacers on top of each other and you might need one and that, you know, spacer is towards the bottom and then you have to take them all off, grab it. And it's just a little bit of a hassle and we have room. So why not keep it here in one of our drawers? Also, we have some wheel nuts and some duct tape as well. In the third drawer down, this is where we just keep all of our regular wrenches. From even years ago when my dad used to color code everything, yellow was 9 16 um, red was half inch, green was 7 16 So you see a little bit of that that we uh, never took off. That's just kind of how I remembered it for myself. My dad color coded everything. But we have all of our wrenches here and then we have our aluminum wrenches in the back for all of our AN fittings. Another thing to mention, my dad built all of this at his shop. So this was something that he added in. It didn't come in it. That just goes to show he is a, a good fabricator and knows what he's doing. So that's a great addition that we really, really use. Next drawer down, this is where we keep Zeus tools. Uh, we also have Allen's screwdriver. We have our torque wrench, which we use a lot on many different things on the car. We also have all of our ratchets, uh, extensions, sockets, Allen's over there. I always, the main one that's always missing is this one for all of our GoPro mounts and uh, keeping those on the race car. We gotta make sure we tighten them up, otherwise they're gonna fly off. So that is that drawer. Next drawer down, we got our vice grips, we have our crescent wrenches, we have some scissors, we got pliers, uh, we got some dykes, and then these are something that we use a lot if you're ever doing anything with the rear end. These are snap ring pliers and I'm trying to get better and better at using this because there's a snap ring that kind of pops into the rear end that holds that together with the torque tube and the drive shaft. And you have to be really, really good at just holding it perfectly so it pops right in and snaps. And then in our final drawer on the bottom, Got a fire extinguisher, we have our Jacob's Ladder, oil filter wrench, we also have some spare torsion bars, shocks, and an MSD box. So that is really it for the back. As you can see, there's just so much on this little cart. And for a lot of teams, especially the Outlaw guys, I would be interested to see how they have their setup. Obviously, they're carrying so much more stuff. And when they come in the work area, for example, if they get in a wreck, even if there's a couple laps to go or it's early in the race, it doesn't matter if they're running in the back, they're doing everything they can to fix it and get back on the track for valuable points and possible, you know, an increase in pay if they run higher. Versus a local guy like us, maybe as we move up and up, as we try to climb, the ranks you know you start to carry more stuff if you're running for points but when we're just going to a show here or there chances are if an incident happens our night is pretty much over as we race against better and better competition if your stuff is not up to par because you were involved in a crash even if you do fix it it's going to be hard to go out and maybe pass eight or ten cars which is what you have to do to get into an increase in pay because you know maybe 12th through 20th or 12th through 24th all pays the same so our pit cart is very simple for now but we're hoping to make it more complex as we try to keep going farther and farther. So now we'll move over to the right side. This is kind of the final part and there's not much in here right now. We got two five gallon fuel jugs, which we always try to keep for an open red. Maybe a race goes on a little bit longer. We also have the, real, the wheel wrench, which we're gonna use all night long as we're changing stagger. And then at the top, we have our fuel funnel, which we're also gonna be using all night long as we continue to add fuel for the long features. On this right side, we do have a little ladder to climb to the top. A lot of uh, teams at certain racetracks, ours included, uh, watch from the top of their meals. You can just stand up here. Another thing that we do, you know, for some of the bigger races, you know, maybe if we do have a chance, if there's a work area, we, Carly, Carly will do it. Not everyone on our team is for it, but Carly will put two front tires or one front tire and two rear tires on top of the meal. You'll see a lot of them just stack up here. And sometimes they put something up here. We don't have anything right now, but that helps, you know, the tires not slide off the top because in Arizona, uh, Bennett, my mom and Carly were driving to the infield and it's easy, you know, with some of the banking, they'll slide right off. So we can carry some tires on top of the meal in case we have an incident and go to the work area. Well, it rained that night. Too. And yes, the rain, the rain didn't help. So that's the little ladder here on the right. Also on the pit cart, uh, we have a little spot for the jack, so that's where it slides in, and then we have a little bungee cord here that kind of holds the top of it. Another little uh, glove box compartment, which Carly has some stuff. She has her uh, cracked pepper seeds and some sunglasses she keeps in there. 
But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed getting an inside look at our 2021 meal or pit cart, whatever you wanna call it. You guys are gonna be seeing this thing at a lot of racetracks here along the West Coast and a couple different ones in the Midwest. We are thinking about possibly adding an 18T sticker to the side so you're gonna be able to spot it compared to everyone else's. It's very popular for other drivers. Um, you know, they have theirs wrapped. They also sometimes add their marketing partners on there. So that is something to look into down the line that we might do. Anyway, Anyway, though, I will see you guys all in the next one. We have a busy weekend here in the shop. Carly is maybe going to be, or Carly is planning on racing this weekend. I don't think I'm going to be in the seat. So I'll have a video on that a little bit later on just what the plan is, where we're going to be racing, a little bit of the preparation of Carly getting ready to make her second start of 2021. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. So thank you, Bennett. He's been behind the camera for this video. We have a podcast to go shoot tonight and an action packed end to our week before we hit the racetrack on Saturday. See you guys all in the next one. Deuces.